Hey classmates, Michelle Leroy here. Um, I believe the sessions were what I imagine a counseling session should look like. In my opinion, the sessions look like two people basically having a normal conversation. So there was a time in my life where I believed sessions should look a certain way. I believe that this is mainly because of how the media portrays or tend to make counseling sessions look. So you have the therapist wearing the glasses and you'll have the client laying on the couch and the therapist is normally taking notes, um, not facing the client, you know, just not having a real, what would look like as a genuine conversation. Um, Counselor characteristics that I believe I seen were a warm attitude towards the client. I was able to see genuine behavior from the counselor's uh, empathetic understanding. The characteristics of the counselors is what I believe the sessions, what made the sessions look like regular conversations between two people. I believe the first counseling session demonstrated the Egan model. I came to this conclusion based on the skills that the counselor used. So I was able to see him use active listening, empathy, checking, understanding. He was probing, he was summarizing, and other skills. I believe the counselor also used the Solar model. And I believe that was evident because he was sitting squarely, he had an open posture, he was leaning in giving head nods, uh, he, made eye con he maintained eye contact with the client, his posture was relaxed. So in the beginning of the session, you could actually see where he was relaxing his shoulders. He was preparing to appear or get relaxed. He also demonstrated the three stages by finding out what's going on with the client, bringing clarity to what the client believes to need or want, and then find, finding out how to get those needs and wants accomplished for the client. The second session appears to be the SMABI and Maddox model. I was able to see the counselor use eye contact, appropriate body language. He used open-ended questions, paraphrasing, and um, other skills that match with that model. What I believe really made me feel as though he was using this model is the advanced skills he used. So what stood out to me most was the fact that he identified the specific problem situation. He discussed the actions taken by the client. He confronted the client uh, in a caring manner. He talked about the consequences and ultimately they were able to reach an agreement with specific deadlines. Uh, the questions I would have for the counselors are, how do you determine which theory or model would benefit your client? What steps do you take to improve or perfect your counseling skills? And how do you measure your effectiveness as a counselor? Thank you.